What up, family? It's your boy SN TV, man. I just wanted to drop this video, this quick little update, man, about D Rose situation. Now his sister, uh, she took the social media or whatever and was talking about how the guys left D Rose locked up and he only had a hundred K bond. I'm assuming she's saying that the bond was a hundred K, which means if they had to pay ten percent, then it was only ten thousand. Everybody know, man, dealing with the drill scene, man, about the infamous deal, D Rose. If you don't know, then uh, I do got a Chirac Street Legends about D Rose. And I just want to say a couple things about that. And, you know, touch on what's going on in the drill scene or in the rap game, period, right now. I feel like 2023 is a very, very, very important year. It's a very informative year already. And we ain't even left out of January. Why do SNTV feel like that? I feel like that because this year, a lot of information is dropped, dealing with people snitching, videos, motherfuckers being left in jail, uh, motherfuckers who, who, who 10 year guys going against each other. You know, I just seen a um, video with Mimo, DQ and them arguing, saying fuck each other brothers and both of them dead. It's a lot going on, but I feel like this is showing a lot of the guys who thinking about getting involved or not involved yet or already involved with the streets. There is no loyalty out there. And I'm going to keep saying that because I feel like this might save somebody's life. Y'all need to drill this information into y'all head. D. Rose. D. Rose has been the guy that's been shouted out by Chief Keith, Dirk, Vaughn. You name it from that BD side, man. They done spoke on D. Rose. Why? Because D. Rose was out there really doing what they was rapping about. Now, the thing is, D. Rose got all of that street credit. He's he famous. He got like, I think he did like two tracks. He wasn't really no good rapper, but he wasn't really rapping for real. You know what I'm saying? He hadn't really had no career. Like, like I said, he got on a couple tracks. I heard one he had with Rondo and it was really like, you know, shit was whack, but it was his, you know what I'm saying? Obviously his, you know, his, his only time rapping. I later heard a freestyle that he did from jail and it sounded much better. And he was actually talking about the situation and he hurt, his family hurt. Y'all got to realize, man, when you out there putting in all of that work and you doing this and doing that for a name, Ain't nothing coming out of there but some street fame. You might be able to take the clout from the streets and transition that into, you know, monetize that like Vaughn did, but not many people are able to do that. So y'all really out here doing all these hits and doing this and doing that for nothing. Ain't nothing coming out of that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not going to, SNTV not going to ever get on here and say, don't defend yourself. But when you out here doing this and doing that for a name, and then be surprised when you end up in jail and ain't nobody fucking with you. You you the crazy one. Because just like the streets know about you, believe me, the police know about you. And the police probably know more about you than the streets do. And when you get jammed up, even if they can't really prove this case, they really try to knock your head off for shit that they know that you did. Why? Because you got that reputation. Everybody in the streets was scared of D Rose. I'm not gonna get on here and act like D Rose ain't had a juice. Like niggas was scared of D Rose when it came to you know when it came to that street shit. That's just what it was. So people was willing to tell on D Rose, put D Rose in places that he wasn't even you know he wasn't even at to get D Rose off the street. But it came from off that name. I feel like a lot of these guys need to take the street credibility and transition that over to music i mean you know that be some of y'all only outlet and you really can't depend on motherfuckers like dirt chief keith you really can't depend on nobody but yourself like you got to be the one to do it because a lot of people in the streets right now depending on dirt man waiting on dirt to come save you but man nine times out of ten dirt ain't coming dirt that did his job dirt to save a lot of lives he done put a lot of people on, but he can't take everybody with him. Chief Keith, he out of there. 
Y'all might well forget about Keith. Keith ass out of them. Keith was one of the ones that had enough common sense enough to know that guess what? Get up out of there. Look at G Herbo. G Herbo ain't G Herbo didn't take the whole NLMB with, with him. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of guys in NLMB right now that feel some type of way because G Herbo got out of there. You know, you can't take everybody with you. And you would think that they would take the ones with them that was in the street catching the bodies. But, man, your name just get used for clout. That's what it's used for. And when you get jammed up, niggas going to keep on freeing you, free, 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 and free, and free them. But they not ever going to come to your hope. They not going to come to your rescue. They not going to come to your rescue, man. You're going to have to fight that case by yourself. So, in order to fight a case, what you need? A lawyer. In order to have a good lawyer, you're going to need some money. So niggas is out here doing this and doing that, but ain't getting no money from it. Rest in peace, 051 Melly. I heard a lot about Melly, and one thing I heard about Melly, a lot of the shit that Melly was doing, he was at least getting paid from it. Now, SNTV not telling y'all to go out there and become a fucking hit, man. That's not the point. But the point is, have a reason for doing what you're doing outside of trying to get a name for it. And a lot of motherfuckers be like, well, SN, you know, they lost people. They were sliding for this person to slide for that person. It's a well-known fact that a lot of times, man, niggas say they be sliding for this person and sliding for that person. Never even met these people. Never hung around these people or none of that. You know what I'm saying? You got guys merching on guys all day, every day that they never even... You was a baby when this man was out in the streets or when this man died. So a lot of times it don't, it don't really be that. It just be... Niggas be riding for the cause. Niggas be involved in something they think is a brotherhood and then find out when it come down to it, you gonna have to ride this shit out by yourself. That's how it's always gonna be. You gonna have to ride it out by yourself. If you end if you end up getting out that jam, them same niggas gonna be right there urging you on to do some more dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And then we see how it be. The motherfuckers be facing 50 years. 20 years. Guess what? Nine times out of ten, they gonna tell on you. And guess what? They word might not mean all that when it comes to certain shit. They might not be as credible. But when the police already got your name in that station for you doing this and for you doing that, they'll be the one to sink you. To get out of some shit. I done seen it happen. We seen it. And I know a lot of y'all shaking in y'all boots right now because them 2023 videos are still dropping. And there's a lot more that's going to drop. And there's a lot more of y'all that's going to be looking crazy because y'all done went to the police station and went the fuck off. We got to get out of that keeping it real shit, trying to keep it real and all that. I ain't telling y'all to go out here and snitch. I'm telling y'all Get up out of there. Sit y'all ass down. Get up out the city or get up out the way. If not, you might end up behind the motherfucking gates crying because a motherfucker done left you. Or a motherfucker ain't putting this on your bill or putting that on your bond or putting nothing on your books. I say it all the time. I don't got no resentment towards nobody that I ever gave anything to or did anything, you know, for when I was out there. I don't got no resentment because I already know how this shit go. You know what I'm saying? I already know how it go. Y'all better look, listen, and learn, man. Because the streets is teaching, the internet is teaching, and the feds is definitely teaching what to do and what not to do, man. Stay out the way. I'm telling y'all. This shit ain't getting no better, for real. It's your boy SNTV.